this beady-eyed intruder caught red-handed. Now my van is completely trashed. Leanne Cedarberg believes she must have left a door unlocked. Early Sunday morning, the bear scouted its target. The bear was, you know, playing with the windshield wiper here, and then I can see all these paw prints. Inside, mangled metal and shredded car parts. The bear has completely destroyed this van. Take a look here. The inside has so much damage. And this door won't even open now. It also left an unbearable stench. I'm pretty sure that he must have urinated a bunch because there's still like lots of wet spots and the seats are wet. Cedarberg is used to seeing bears in the neighborhood. There's a bear in our house. One even came into her mudroom. It's right there. But she didn't think a bear could get inside her vehicle and she's not sure why it did. In this pocket there was like one little thing of those made good granola bar things but that wasn't even touched. Would a bear be able to smell this? Definitely. Bears have great senses of smell, so even if it's in a, a wrapper or saran wrap or a, a plastic bag, they can definitely smell these attractants. You got some sort of leverage up here. Just Exactly one year ago, a black bear broke into this Maple Ridge car, likely because of a forgotten lunch. Conservation Officer Service reminding the public bears are trying to fatten up right now. These bears in hyperphagia, trying to eat as much food as they can. The bear got out after they used a remote to open the door. Cedarberg says she'll be more diligent. Has definitely given me the reminder to lock my doors. So I just wanted to give that reminder to others because it's really awful when your car gets trashed. To prevent a bear glory. Angela Jung, Global News.